Financial Sense was specifically designed to help accounting firms get work done. Our easy to use practice management solution makes it easy to track the status of client work and who's working on what, to get faster client responses, and to centralize everything in one place to keep your firm organized. The first thing you see in Financial Sense is the workflow dashboard. This is where you get the visibility to easily track the status of client work, who's working on what, and all your important deadlines in a single view. As a firm owner or manager, you'll be able to see all the work your team is working on across the firm. And as an individual team member, you'll just be able to track your work. You can see all the individual work in this view, the progress of that work, the status, and its deadline, as well as whose desk it is currently on, giving you that visibility. At the top here, you have workflow filters. This lets you run custom reports to see the work that matters most to you. For example, I could filter for monthly bookkeeping work that is in review. And if I really even want to say do this week, you have all these different filters to run custom reports. So you have the search for the work type, you have tags, which are for statuses, but these can also be customized to create any type of filter you want. You have due date to filter for time period, so all the work that's due this week, this month, or next month. You have accounting period, so maybe you don't wanna filter by the actual due date, but what period of time the work is for. You can filter by your team members to see what work they're working on. You can filter by clients. So if a client calls asking how their work is doing, you can easily filter for that client to see all the work for them. And you can filter by client groups. One other powerful feature is saved views. If you like a certain report, you can save that report or view to quickly filter to it. So you just apply the filters, you save it, and you can easily switch to that view as needed. Again, this view is about visibility. So you always know the status of work, who's working on what, and nothing ever slips through the cracks. Now let's show you where your team actually gets their work done. Let's click into this monthly bookkeeping project for our client, Adeline Collins. In financial sense, everything related to the work is centralized and stored on the work. So your team can easily access everything they need to get their work done in one place. In this example, we're looking at the monthly bookkeeping project for Adeline Collins. And your team can easily access all that information they need to complete this work from within this single view. Let's first talk about the primary focus of projects, your checklists. These are the items that your team and your clients must complete in order to get the work done. First, we're gonna look at the client request list. So in this example for monthly bookkeeping, before my team can actually start their work and complete their tasks, we need to get a few items from the client. So inside Financial Sense, you can easily create a request list for that client, which will automatically collect that information for you. Let me show you how it works. So first, you would create a request list of all the items you need from the client. Now, in this example, we're requesting bank statements, credit card statements, and loan statements because it's a monthly bookkeeping project. But you can also use this for your tax, payroll, or other client work. So if you click Add Client Task, you will actually see you can request documents, you can send documents, you can request e-signatures, ask questions, talk about uncategorized transactions, but you can also schedule meetings, you can send them forms to fill out. The possibilities are endless. So once you've created your request list, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set up the notification schedule because this can automatically send a notification to the client and chase them down for the information. So we'll start with schedule or send. So when you click this, you have the option to schedule the request list to be sent to the client on a certain date, or you can manually send it now, or you can even make it dependent on some work of your team. So maybe like in another example, when you want to send the reports to the client, once the team completes reviewing the work, you can make it dependent on this so it automatically sends it to the client. 
In this example, let's just schedule it to be sent on September 15th in the future. Next, let's set up the automated reminders. We built this feature because we found that a lot of firms were wasting time chasing their clients every single week for information. Not just sending it, but following up, asking for it again and again. This was a huge problem where firms were wasting over 10 hours a week. So what this feature does is it automatically follows up with the client, asking them to complete the request until they get it done. So you can say, for in this example, follow up with them every four days. So now, when it sends on the 5th, every four days, it'll send a follow-up email until the client actually completes all the items on this list. So you never have to chase your clients again. And what's really powerful, if this is a recurring project, so like in this example, it's a monthly bookkeeping project that recurs every single month. Now the way we set it up, every single month when the project recurs, it's going to automatically send the request on the 5th and follow up with the client until they get it done every four days. So your team doesn't have to manually send this request or activate it. It automatically activates every month. So when your team comes in to do your work, it's like the documents are already magically there, saving them time, but also storing it right here so your team can quickly get their work done. A few other things to note is you can see when the client exactly completed the items. The client can ask questions, you can communicate with the client about those questions, and you can view the documents right here. Storing it right here so when your team does the work, they can view the documents and client communication all in one centralized place. One important thing to note is your client cannot see anything else in this view. In the next part of this video, I'm actually going to show you the client experience and what they view in their portal when you send them a request. So next, let's talk about your team tasks. So once the client completes all these tasks, your team will be able to begin their work. They can view their tasks below in the team tasks section. Here they can follow a process and the steps that they need to follow to ensure they get the work done and meet your firm's quality standards. You can assign different team members to different tasks or sections. So in this example, as Sharam completes all his tasks, it will automatically notify Davida and let her know when she can begin reviewing the work. You can also set automations on all these sections and tasks. So for example, when a section or task is completed, it'll automatically change the status of the work, or it can send automated email updates to clients, keeping them updated in the loop, or other automations as well. Outside of the checklist, your team can also access everything they need to get the work done. Because it's not just about your team knowing how and what to do, they also need the information to actually do it. So as you can see up here, there's different tabs. You can view client chat. Here your team can view all conversations with the client that they have access to. There's also team chat where your team can collaborate on the work. Files where you can view documents related to the work. Time tracking information, as well as client emails. We'll talk about this later in the demo, but we have an email integration, which and this allows you to actually pin emails related to the work on the work. So instead of forwarding an email to a team member that may just get lost in their inbox, you can actually pin that email to the work it's related to. So as your team is working, they can come here and view that email with the client. Your team can also track time and access other apps via our integrations. We integrate with a lot of apps so you can actually access them from inside the work. So you can access the client's QBO file, or if you're using Google Drive or OneDrive, you can access the document management folders. And then you have the resources section where your team can easily access external resources that you can add in here. So again, everything that your team needs to get their work done is right here in this single view, which keeps your firm organized and your team productive. Now that we've shown you where your team actually gets their work done in financial sense, let me show you the client experience and how your clients use the portal to communicate with you and send you the information you need. So for this example, I'm gonna send this request to the client so we can see the client experience. I'm gonna send it now. When you send an email notification to a client, they're gonna get an email that looks like this. In the subject line, it's gonna have your firm's name, it's gonna have your firm's logo in the email, as well as other information like the work it is for, as well as what the request items they need then they can easily access it by clicking here. 
One important thing to note is that if you have text notifications turned on, they also get text message notifications and they'll be able to access the portal from their phone. So now let's click in to view the portal. One important thing to note is that one major thing that differentiates our portal from other portals is that the clients can easily access it without ever having to create an account, username, or password through our secure Magic Link technology. We found that the biggest issue with client portals is that clients found them hard to use. They have to download an app, create a username and password, and then remember that username and password, which clients usually didn't. And this prevented clients from adopting the portals or using them and sending the information you need. So we have a secure Magic Link technology so they don't have to do any of that but can still easily access the portal and share sensitive information, which keeps your clients happy, but more importantly, enables you to get the information you need faster. So when the clients access the portal through that email notification, it'll take them directly to the request where they can see the items that they still need to complete. They can mark them completed, upload the documents, and even ask questions around the request items. And then once they do that, it will automatically be uploaded here instantly and notify your team so they know that when they can begin the work and access the information they need. However, our portal is not just for requests. It is a single source of truth for your clients, for everything they need to send you and to communicate with your team. So for example, if you click the request tab here, the client can view all the open requests for the work right now and past completed requests. They can view documents, files, and reports. So you can easily share folders and files with your client from our document management system. And they can view all those folders and documents and reports here. They have chat, so your clients can easily ask you questions and communicate with you about anything at the firm. It's not just around the actual request items. And we have transactions. So one powerful feature in Financial Sense is our Recats feature, where you can streamline and automate how you manage uncategorized transactions. You can easily send uncategorized transactions directly from QuickBooks Online, get the context and documents you need from clients, and then upload all of that into QBO and update the category all from within Financial Sense. So you don't have to download a spreadsheet, send it to the client, chase them down, and then update it back in QBO. We automate that whole process for you. We don't talk about it that much in this demo, but you can watch one of our tutorial videos on that. So at the end of the day, it's a single portal for your clients for requests, documents, communications, and all other types of questions. Also, the clients not only can access the portal from the notifications, requests, or shared folders and files, but they can also access the portal on demand with a link that you can put in your email signatures or on your website. So now that we've covered the client experience and portal, let's go back to the firm view to cover other important features. So one powerful feature inside Financial Sense is our email integration. We found that accounting firms struggled with their email, and this helps you overcome email overwhelm, but has other advanced functionality to help you be more productive. With our email integration, you can seamlessly sync your inbox with Outlook and Gmail to view all of it in here in Financial Sense. And it keeps it completely in sync. So if you read an email, send an email, archive an email, delete an email, it'll do the same in Outlook and Gmail and vice versa. So you don't have to manage two different inboxes. But one powerful feature is our focused client folder. So we found that a lot of accounting firms have multiple email addresses and clients are sending emails to all those different email addresses. So what you can do is integrate multiple emails to Financial Sense to create one aggregated shared folder to view all emails. And then we take all those inboxes in the shared folder and filter them down to only display client emails. So it filters out the personal and spam. So you have a fully focused folder where you can view all client emails in one place helping you overcome that inbox overwhelm. Now, outside of the focus folder and being able to read emails and respond to clients from within inside Financial Sense, you can also pin and create work from an email. So in this example, 
this client is sending you tax return info. You can automatically create a tax return project from this email. Also, if you get an email that's related to existing work, instead of creating work from that email, you can pin it to existing work, like I did here. So if we go back here, we can see that this email about categorized transactions is pinned to this monthly bookkeeping project. So instead of me forwarding it to my team member and it getting lost and buried in their inbox, it's right here on the project where they'll be able to access it when they begin the work. So now that we've talked about a lot of the workflow and email functionality, let's talk about where you can store all your client information in one place and keep everything organized. And that is our client database. Here you can view a list of all your clients and all their most important information in a single view. And you can search and filter for the type of information you want to see, keeping everything organized. What's also really great is you can also drill down into each client to view their profile where we store all the information related to that client. So if we click into this client, for example, Adeline Collins, you will be able to view all the information related to the client within this single view. You can see current work for the client, uncategorized transactions, important notes, documents, client requests, recent activity. You can see the client's contact information, custom fields where you can create fields for any type of information you want to store on the client, resources that link to external resources for the client, integrations to access apps for the client, and so much more. Also, when talking about the email integration, one valuable feature is the audit trail. The email audit trail on the client's profile is where you can view all conversations between your team and the client. So if anyone on your team emails a client, it will show up here. So if something goes wrong and you need to know what happened with the client, what was said, when and by who, you can find that here. You also have the client chat to view all conversations between your firm and the client. You have your activity feed to see all activity on the client. Notes, where you can view all the important notes related to the client. Documents, so this is our document management system where you can create folders files and reports and then share those folders to the client portal that we saw earlier. This is the client vault where you can securely store passwords and usernames and login information to all the apps for that client. And then you have transactions, which this is the recats feature we we're talking about where you can integrate with QuickBooks Online, pull all those uncategorized transactions, ask the client about them in their portal and have automated reminders to chase them down. And once they tell you what, it, what it's for, they upload the documents, you can approve it, and then send all that information and update it inside QBO, all from within Financial Sense and streamlining that process. And then also tracking all the client requests. Again, a single place for all your client information to be stored so your team can easily access it when they need to get their work done. And that is a quick overview of Financial Sense and how it can help you track the status of client work to hit your deadlines, get faster client responses through a modern portal, and centralize everything in one place to keep your firm organized.